Welcome to the Graduate Database course. I'm Gary Bettacher and we're going to be going over Unit 1 Notes. Now if you haven't done so already, I request that you get the notes in front of you, probably best in hard copy so you can look at the hard copy while you're watching the video here. Now the Unit 1 Notes, there's actually two videos. The first video is going to be looking at the introduction in terms of the uh, Unit 1 features of the notes in general and along with the motivation. The second video is going to do some undergraduate review. So once you've gone through the notes roughly the first half, then you'll probably need to download the second YouTube video. Okay, without further ado, let's, let's talk about the features of the note. I assume you have the notes in front of you here, and on the first page of the notes, which you'll see in each of the units, there are the goals for that particular unit, along with the objectives. Please do not gloss over this because the, by the end of the unit you ought to go back to the beginning objectives and it says you ought to be able to describe third normal form for example and you want to double check to make sure you you are able to do those things. Now if you do have questions you can either email me, you could ask the TA or bring them up during the uh, class meeting time if you choose to attend. So as you go through the notes, pay very careful attention to the goals, the objectives. You'll also see things like definitions. You ought to be able to define these terms. One thing that's very important I want you to be aware of is that the definitions are very important. And if you don't have a good understanding of all the terminology, it's hard to be effective in databases. So make sure if you see the definitions, especially in the notes, that you take the time to memorize those definitions and have a very precise understanding. What I want to talk about now is motivations for studying databases. But let me give you some reasons why I think this is a very important class for you and also why this class is something to study and why databases have been around, will be around for a very long time. First of all, what you notice is that databases have been around since Boy's Cod 1970s. So it's a very mature technology relative to other areas of computer science. And what is that, 70s, about 40 years almost. Second thing that I think is pretty obvious, I don't need to state, is that databases have been growing quite substantially over the years. And as a matter of fact, the databases have been growing about 2 exabytes per year. So there's a lot of information that we're, we're producing here and what is very important is to be able to have the ability to manage this information in order to make effective decisions. So another thing besides the longevity of databases, the explosive growth of the databases, is if we look at the, the costs related to databases. I mean if, if you've seen the cost of computers they've gone down quite a lot. Database disks have down, gone down quite a lot in, in terms of storage costs. I think I've got a figure there in the notes. And also, not only has the database cost gone down, the capacity of storage has gone up tremendously. As we examine the growth potential for databases, we, there's two things I want to point out here in the notes. One of which is the fact that you know, in India, for example, they're experiencing 20% growth in the database industry from like 2008 to 2009. If you look at the Forrester report in terms of open source databases, they're talking about a 40% growth there. So there's a lot of potential for databases and it's a high growth area. In terms of the database market, it's quite evident that Oracle is probably the dominant uh, player in the market. Now, if we take a look over here, notice this chart, the stock chart for Oracle. And as we see, this, this chart is from July of 2009. As we see here, it shows that Oracle has had a continuous growth in their stock share. And as a matter of fact, during the, the dot-com bubble and the recent uh, economic collapse, collapse of 2008, it still has done very, very well. So the point is that the, you know, of all the stocks out there, Oracle is one that's kind of been like a blue chip stock, quite reliable in what they do. 
So I think that's something to be aware of in terms of finding a, a stable industry in which you might want to consider uh, your career. As you scroll down the notes, take a look at this. What you see here are recent graduates from the database class that I taught in a previous semester. Fine young group of students and a very good class. Someday your picture will be here and you think, Whew, glad to get through that. The question is, well, what's in it for me in terms of jobs? So let's talk about database jobs and opportunities at this point. Page for the U.S. Department of Labor and they talk about database types of positions and they see, you know, they talk about it as having excellent growth opportunities. So there's a lot of opportunity in the database field. Now if you scroll down to the next page, what you see there is the actual salaries for database personnel and it's about the ninety to hundred twenty thousand dollar range. Now of course this could change, but the point is the database field is it's stable, it's growing, it's been around a while, there's always going to be data and people to manage the data, so it is a career that you can go into and uh, do excellent growth. Now, one thing that you don't see in the notes I'll share with you is that there's also opportunities to work as a database consultant. I knew a recent graduate uh, who was working at UTMB oh, a couple of years ago. He was getting $125 an hour, so that was pretty good. I know there was a position in Dallas, Texas that was paying $300 an hour. That's very good money. Now, what I want you to think about is that there are the good opportunities in databases, and so I hope this will help motivate you to study hard for this class and kind of see down the road that, okay, if I, if I put in the work now, there'll be wonderful financial opportunities for me in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll stop here and go on to the next video.